So once you have knit your lace bands for the summer down top and placed the stitches on hold, it is time to start picking up stitches to work the main bit of the top. Now, on the summer down, it's nice and straightforward. There's no trying to work out how to space your stitches because it's one for each one of these big slipped stitches on the end. So you just pick up your needle. I go behind both legs of the stitch for extra security. On. and start picking up stitches so you're working your way up the first band from the bottom right hand cast on edge so you will pick up one stitch in each of these big slipped stitches and just to keep going until you reach the end. Okay, once you've got up to the top held stitches edge of that first band, it's time to cast on stitches for the back neck. And for that, you use the backwards loop cast on, which is about as simple as it gets. So what you do is you just make a little loop around your thumb, put it on your needle. So you just cast on the number of stitches the pattern tells you. Right, and once you've got those stitches on your needle, which will form the back neckline of your top, it is time to pick up stitches down the other lace band. So you want to make sure you have both your held stitches edges at the top because later you'll be knitting those stitches on the neckline rib and then it is exactly as you were before you start at the stitch below the live ones so in here and you just up stitches all the way back down again and after all that this is what you've got you've got the stitches picked up up one side of the band the back neck stitches and then picked up down the other side of the band and from here you're going to be working back and forwards in rows in stocking stitch to shape the back of the sleeves and the upper back of the top. So if you look at it this way around, that becomes your neckline opening and you're knitting down this way. And I will share more videos when we get to the next stage.